Hi, I'm Nevin. This is my brother, Dummy. This is my other brother, Dummy. We're gonna do a Baldville Variety Act for you tonight. It's called Nevin and Other Dummies. We hope you like it. It's hard to find good Baldville knitting, isn't it? Phenomenon. 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 Dr. Andrew Bunsen here at Dummy Laboratories, where the future is being made today. Here comes my assistant, Nevin, to show us our brand new automatic trash can. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, whatever your trash needs, this little doozy can handle it. Show them a demonstration, please, Nevin. Thank you. More, please. How about another one? Ladies and gentlemen, never having to empty the trash can again. More, 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 more. Do, do try to keep them quiet, Nevin, please. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, more. just send us your order and we'll send it in either regular or housebroken models. Just send us $22.95 and we'll send you your trash can. Uh, uh, or send us $32.95 and we won't. Here's a dummy's news flash. Science has recently discovered a process which may go a long way towards solving the world's food crisis. Dr. William Edgar of Chicago, Illinois, reports he has found a method of synthesizing Italian dinners out of wool. At a recent press conference, Edgar demonstrated his process by knitting a terrine of minestrone while his wife Nancy crocheted meatballs. You know, speed vision keeps getting dumber and dumber every month. Yeah, but it's still the best part of crosswalk. <laughs> and now, Dummy's Hospital, the continuing story of a quack gone to the dummies. Dr. Ron, are you ready for your next patient yet? Next patient? What happened to the last one? He left for a better doctor. Which doctor? That's right. Oh, which doctor? Oh, which doctor? Yeah. Dr. Rod? It's a telephone! What's the matter with it? It isn't working. Is it working? Well, tell it to get a job, so it can pay me! <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, maybe it's a payphone. A payphone! <laughs> <laughs> but, Dr. Rod, do you know anything about repairing telephones? No, but I can look it up in the book. The medical book? No! The telephone book! <laughs> Well, what do you think, Dr. Rod? It must be Jonas! Well, how do you know? Look at all these yellow pages! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, Dr. Rod, Dr. Rod, do you think the telephone needs an anesthetic? Well, if so, make it a local. Why? Because long distance costs too much! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 wait, wait a minute, uh, uh, Nurse Amy, you have the next line? Yes, but I can't say it! Well, why not? Dr. Rod, wow, are you ever gonna operate? No, but I know who will. Well, who? The telephone operator! <laughs> <laughs> and so, once again, Dr. Rod is off the hook. You talking to me? Tune in next month when you'll hear Nurse Andy say... Does the phone remind you of anything? Well, it does ring a bell. <laughs> Thanks for the 
left. 